Hello YouTubers, I just thought I'd do a small little tip that might help some people out. I'm start, uh, just going through my old international, she's been, hasn't been running for well over 12 months now and uh, just want to sort a few things out and a squirrel has eaten through the wires and I'm pretty sure what it is but I just thought I'd show you a little tip on how to find the difference between an earth and a positive wire. Somebody showed me this ages ago and it's been so handy and it's simple. I'm no brilliant electrician or anything at all. So what you've got, you've got your multimeter on here and what you want it to do is to have, to have it on the setting down there, look, where when you touch them together it makes a noise. So we got the two wires down there. You'll, You'll know it's a black wire basically, aren't you? But, but sometimes you don't get that. It might be different if you're trying to put a radio in or whatever. So what you do is you put it on that setting I just showed you. Find an earth. In this case we'll go to the top of the battery because I can just reach it. So there is the earth on the battery. Now you want to go down here and think that that isn't there. So you don't know what that is really. So here's what you do. It's simple, so simple. So as long as you've got a good earth on this one, and you've got, a, say, a, a load of wires in the back of a radio, just earth this one correctly and go through them like this, and the one you get the beeps on will be the earth. Very, very simple, easy tip. And uh, hope that'll help you out, because it's helped me out a lot of times. So if you, I've just shown you how to find earths, so if we imagine we had a little block of lead, uh, electrical cables in the back of a wire and you found the earth and you want to find the positive, so it, it's just as simple, I may as well show you on this. Instead of putting it to where it beeps, which is down here, there you look. What you want to do is, because this is a 12 volt and a car is 12 volt, you want to go to here, which is there's 500, 200 and there's 20. So put it on to 20 and that will measure up to the voltage. I'm on about 12 volts. So this time instead of trying to find uh, the earth we're going to get the positive. It's very easy. Do exactly the same as I showed you before. Get it earth correctly. I wish they gave it longer leads on these things. That's the only thing. It's a pain isn't it? So we get the positive here. So you imagine now you're hitting them wires like I showed you to do with the earth. This time you've got it on that set in there. So we're 12 volts, so that goes up to 20 there. Now go on here. There you go, that should be 12 volt. Sorry, my what's called is knackered screen. That will be 12 volt. What's happened to my screen there today? There we go, see ya? The one is playing up. <laughs> so that's 12.43 volts. So when you're looking for the, po the positive ones, you just get on your battery. See, that's 12.43. So I don't know if I can reach it down here. Like I said, I'm no bloody expert at this, but this is how I do it. It's a case of having to learn. So we know that's an earth down there, I think, isn't it? I think that's an earth there. I'll try that though. That is coming down there, that's positive. Hopefully I can get an earth here now. See? 12.42. So you know that's positive, then the two positives there. Point four two. Same as these were that I sh showed you on before were Earths. Should be nothing there, no? See, nothing. Very, very simple when you get used to it. So every, if you were put, putting in the back of your radio, for example, you'd do the thing I said to you before by trying to find the Earths. And then to find the positives, you get a, the black one on the Earth, 
and you just go touching the circuits and when you get that they're positive so I hope this has helped you out I'm sorry the meter is playing up but um, these bloody old things don't last very long you can pay a bit of money and get a decent meter but that's up to you isn't it yeah that's it so I hope this has helped you out I know this is an old tractor but it was a simple thing to show um, you how to find basic positive and negative terminals and wires when you're not quite sure because you can see where they're coming from here but when you're doing it in a car in a radio for example or in a tractor trying to find if they're positive or negative it's very easy I guess so hope it's helped you out